Hello, and welcome to this brief introduction to the RPC model of organizational recoverability. Perhaps the easiest way to understand the model is to begin by asking, what does any given department or organization need to recover from a disaster? The model says they are going to need three things. First of all, they're going to need some stuff, some resources. This may be a simple matter like a place to work and a PC with internet connection, but it may be more complicated. The resources may be very specific, like an MRI machine or a customized piece of software. Next, they're going to need to know what to do. Where are we going to go? Who is in charge? Who will do a damage assessment? What is the recovery time objective for all of our services? And finally, they're going to need some competencies, crisis competencies, to be able to function during the course of the crisis. Putting these three together, we come up with this model. Basically, the model says that the more resources, procedures, and competencies you have at time of disaster, the more likely you're going to be to recover. Again, resources are the what we're going to need, the stuff that we need. That includes everything from equipment to software and space. The procedures are the what we're going to do. They help answer just a few questions. Again, where are we going, who's in charge, who has communications, and the like. The crisis competencies are the difference between running screaming from the room and stepping up to take a leadership role or at least to be able to function throughout the crisis. The list of these comes from work of Paul C. Light. Now this model then allows us to measure real preparedness. Let's take an example. We may have a situation where we have a work group or a department that looks green on paper, but we know they're not really able to recover very well. They don't have the resources that they're going to need, the people don't know what they're going to do to respond, and they have not trained or tried it. We can put some hypothetical numbers to this for the moment. We can assume they have about half of what they need and only a little bit of the procedures and competencies that they need. This allows us to put an actual number, a quantitative score, to their preparedness. And we can begin to talk about the concerns with their plan and their planning. We can look at the results of their assessment and see that they need a lot more procedures and several more resources to be able to recover. This also allows us to begin to predict recoverability. If we understand that the three factors interact with each other, we can begin to note that the missing items in the procedures and the competencies and resources interact and that may allow us to have a confidence index, in this case a very low confidence, that this department is able to recover. And we can begin to talk about the costs of not being able to recover. These costs are going to be cashed out in terms of damage to the brand, services that we cannot offer anymore, and of course money and time. So that is just a brief introduction of the model. Please enjoy the course, learn more about it, and I hope you find it useful.